Welcome to our lecture online. So it was said that Einstein had an IQ of 160. Now we may wonder, how unusual is that? How many people are there in the world that have an IQ of 160 or above? There's people that have been known to have an IQ even higher than that. So again, we're going to use the same principle. Let's say that we have a distribution, a normal distribution curve. The mean is 100, so an IQ of 100 is kind of an average score. The standard deviation is 10, and so here we're looking for 6 sigma above the standard, or the average, I should say. So let's use our equation. What is the z factor equal to? z is equal to, we have x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Of course, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm plugging in the value for the standard deviation, but let's just write the equation down. And notice we're looking for x equal 160. So that would be 100 plus 6 times 10, or 6 standard deviations away from the mean. So we get z is equal to 160 minus 100 divided by 10 which is 60 divided by 10, which is equal to 6. So again, z represents the number of standard deviations away from the mean. So 6 sigma means 6 times 1 standard deviation, therefore z equals 6. So z is the number that goes in front of the sigma to indicate how many sigmas you are away from the mean. All right, now... I had to go look up in the table, and my table didn't quite give me all the way up to z equals 6.0, but I could kind of extrapolate it. It should be equal to about that number. In other words, you're above 49.999997% away from 50%. Well, let, let, me, let me rephrase that because that's kind of a hard thing to, to imagine here. So let's say that we have... This whole right side of the curve represents 50%. And then we have the small amount of percent we're looking for here. And so let's call that, hmm, let's call that Y for a lack of anything else. We'll just call it Y. And so we're looking for 50% minus the small amount over here equals the area underneath the curve here, which we get from the Z factor, which is 49 point nine 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 seven percent okay so what is that small little y here well y equals fifty percent minus forty nine point nine 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 uh, that would be seven percent and if we do that that would be equal to zero point zero 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 three percent Wow, that's a very small amount. So if we place, if we then want to know how many people fall in that category, one in how many, we simply go one divided by one over that ratio. That would be 0 0.00000003. So I turned it back into a decimal from a percentage. So if I take 1 and divide it by this fraction here, instead of writing it as a percent, I write it as a decimal place, now I should get the right value. Okay, so we have 0 0.000003, take the inverse of that, and multiply that times 100 because it didn't fit on the calculator, and put that in scientific notation. Hmm. So, roughly speaking, that is 1 in 333 million people. So, on average, 1 in 333 million people are as smart or smarter than Einstein. So he was a very unique individual that had a tremendous ability to figure things out that other people couldn't do. And yes, it did require quite an IQ. And that is how it's done. Do you think Tesla between 160 to 310? Nicholas Tesla. Oh, Tesla was also supposed to be extremely smart. Between what? 160 to 310. They don't know for sure, but he was presumably smarter. He was in, yeah. yeah. So There's been the, some incredibly smart individuals. There over 200, and um, I think uh, Newton. 
Newton. And yeah, yeah. And Euler, Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're naming some very incredibly smart individuals that were able to uncover some amazing things. But yeah, that's, uh, you can see, they're very unique individuals. They don't come along very often. So is Tesla once in, a, in the billions? How many, how many people have been on the planet altogether? Well, many billions. Um, although the people that live on the planet today, almost 8 billion, mm -hmm is a large percentage of all the people that have ever lived because the population used to be so small. Um, so maybe, I don't know, that's, I think that's a good question, but we're probably looking at maybe 15 billion people, 20 billion people max. So Tesla, one in 15 billion? <laughs> well, of course, there's a lot of things that go into calculating somebody's IQ and what's the real number, right? It's hard to do, but you can imagine, yeah, that it's fairly rare.